today in this country and perhaps in most parts of the world, we are fed propaganda. In schools, we are fed propaganda. Even through the media, our adult population is fed propaganda. And we are fed into a model of development, into a system which we are told to believe in as if this is the only system uh, which should uh, go on. And we are basically educated, our educational system educates us to fit into the existing model of development and try and extract as much as we can from that model of development. But this present orthodox model of development is neither sustainable nor viable. It is leading to enormous inequalities. It is leading to climate change and environmental degradation on a very vast scale. It is leading to the complete destruction of our natural resources. And therefore, the first job of a citizen is to try and understand what is really happening in society, where our present model of development is leading, because this whole model depends upon increased exploitation of natural resources, which leads to enormous environmental degradation, which leads to increased inequalities also, as, apart from many other problems. And it's not sustainable for the simple reason that this world is running out of natural resources such as oil, mineral resources, etc. Uh, <clears throat> so first you need to understand what is wrong with the way the world is going. Uh, try and understand that and then try and see how we need to correct this. And thereafter, because every individual is not powerful enough to change things himself. Therefore, he needs to involve other people, he needs to form a team, he needs to form an organization, and in that organized manner, try and change the system, change the policies towards public interest. One of the great successes of the anti-corruption movement, the successes of the initial stages of the Aam Admi Party, was on account of the fact that it became a large movement and a large body of people who were working towards the Jan Lokpal bill. And people felt that by coming together and joining this movement, they can effectively force the authorities to bring about the Jan Lokpal bill. Therefore, people become effective only when they work in an organization or largely when they work in an organization or as a group to force some kind of change and they also feel uh, the need to uh, involve or engage with any activity if they feel that they can make a difference. One of the problems of contemporary society is that most individuals feel helpless, hopeless, that they can't do anything and thereby it makes them cynical. So in order to get over that cynicism and that feeling of hopelessness and helplessness, we need to come together as a body along with other like-minded people and put our collective energies together in order to try and force the kind of changes that we feel are necessary to move towards a more equitable, just and sustainable society. Mm -hmm.